Hello well wishers and welcome to my channel Aspiring Minds. In today's video we are going to discuss the short and long answer type questions from Rabindranath Tagore's poem Where the Mind is Without Fear. So grab your virtual seats and let's begin. Question 1. What is the central theme of the poem? So the central theme of the poem is the idea of a utopian society. A utopian society is an ideal or a perfect society where individuals live without any fear and limitations and where the mind is free to explore and create a better world. Question 2. How does the poet describe the ideal society in the poem? So the poet describes the ideal society as one where people are free from narrow-mindedness and the constraints of tradition. It is a society where knowledge is valued, truth prevails and individuals strive for enlightenment. It could be spiritual guidance and traditional values are True, it should be followed, yes, but following it blindly will not help. You need to have a blend or a balance of traditional values and modern day lifestyle. Question 3. What does the poet mean by where the clear stream of reason has not lost its way into the dreary desert sand of dead habit? So these lines of the poem suggest that in an ideal society, reason and rationality guide people's actions and decisions rather than blindly following the outdated traditions and customs which can lead to stagnation and intellectual decay. This is what I was telling you that there has to be a blend or a balance between traditional values and modern day living. Otherwise, life can become dull, it can become stagnated. Explain the significance of the line, Into the heaven of freedom, my father, let my country awake. This is one of the f most famous lines of the poem. So this line expresses the poet's longing for his country to embrace freedom and enlightenment, transcending barriers of ignorance and oppression. According to the poet, the country needs to accept freedom, to get enlightenment or spiritual guidance so that the people can transcend or overcome obstacles and barriers. It reflects his desire for his nation to awake to its true potential and become an example of liberty and progress. Question 5. What are some of the obstacles that hinder the attainment of the ideal society described in the poem? So some of the obstacles include ignorance, prejudice that is your preconceived notions being narrow-minded, superstition and fear of change. These factors prevent individuals and societies from achieving enlightenment and freedom as depicted in the poem. Question 6. How does the poem inspire readers to strive for a better society? So the poem inspires readers by painting a vivid picture of an ideal society and highlighting the transformative power of knowledge, reason and enlightenment. These are the three things that can bring about transformation or change that is knowledge, reason and enlightenment. It encourages readers to challenge the existing norms and work towards creating a world free from fear and oppression. Now, challenging the existing norms doesn't mean that you start protests and rebellions. No, you need to identify what are the prevailing norms and realize what are the ways you can create a parallel path that can be a new way of looking at the same or a similar difficult situation in life. Question 7. What role does education play in the poem? Education is portrayed as a catalyst for personal and social transformation. Catalyst means that thing that can bring about change and why is it you will see that the government and everyone emphasizes on the fact that not just children but even adults should be educated that is why there is adult education which is also a separate course which is available because education has the power to empower individuals so that they can think critically they can question authority it doesn't mean just because a person in authority is telling you to do something 
that person may always be right and at the same time if you are educated you will have a vision of a better future and then you will work towards it so education is seen as essential for breaking free from the shackles of or the chains of ignorance and fear question 8 how does the poem address the concept of freedom so the answer is that the poem emphasizes the importance of freedom as a fundamental human right and it is a prerequisite or an element which is necessary for progress and enlightenment it calls for liberation of the mind from the constraints of fear ignorance and prejudice why do you think the freedom fighters worked so hard they gave up their lives so that india could be free it is because they wanted to see they had a vision of india as being free and moving towards progress imagine their life sacrifice in the year 1947 and today in 2024 we are seeing how india is rapidly moving towards progress it has all happened because of the attainment of freedom question 9 What does the poet envision as the ultimate goal of human existence in the poem? The poet envisions that the ultimate goal of human existence is attainment of enlightenment, freedom and unity. Now remember by enlightenment we don't mean always that you need to be praying to God daily and things like that. It just means that you need to you know be thankful for or be in awareness of a higher spiritual part that is guiding you okay so he longs for a world where individuals live harmoniously that is peacefully they are guided by reason truth and compassion that is they are able to think logically they are not following just the orders of others blindly but they use mind of their own as well and at the same time display compassion consideration for others Question 10 How does the poem reflect the poet's vision for social and political change So the poem reflects the poet's vision for social and political change by advocating or supporting a society which is based on the principles of equality justice and freedom it challenges existing power structures or the existing political system and calls for a transformative shift towards a more enlightened and inclusive world what does the word inclusive mean it means to incorporate people of the various sections of the society and make them a part of one world Let us now look at the some of the other questions which could also be asked in your examinations. Discuss the significance of the title of the poem in relation to the poem's central message. So the title encapsulates or includes the essence of the poem, highlighting the poet's vision of a society where individuals live without fear or constraints on their thoughts and actions. It symbolizes the quest for intellectual freedom enlightenment and progress that is only when your mind is free from any kind of burdens tensions and worries it is only then that you will be able to get clarity and therefore be able to work towards achieving your goals in life question 2 Examine the role of imagery and symbolism in conveying the poem's themes and ideals. That is, you could get a question which is a little on the technical side. So, the meaning of imagery and symbolism you can also see in YouTube shorts which I have uploaded on the same. So, let's see. Imagery and symbolism are integral to the poem's depiction of an ideal society. The clear stream of reason, the heaven of freedom, and the dreary desert sand of dead habits serve as powerful symbols representing enlightenment, liberation, and stagnation, respectively. All these examples are powerful symbols which help to convey the overall meaning of the poem. Question three: How does 
Tagore's poem resonate with the contemporary issues and challenges in society that is you could get a question where they are asking you to link the poem to the present day scenario and the challenges present currently in the society so you could identify and use examples from the recent current affairs that are going on around you Tagore's poem addresses timeless themes such as freedom education and social progress which remain relevant in today's world are these not the three things which we all want even today so it resonates with the contemporary issues like political oppression social inequality and the importance of critical thinking and enlightenment we can see how various you know sections in india even today face trouble on a political level there is social inequality even today there are prominently three sections of the society the poor middle class and the rich why this should not happen so these are the challenges which are there even today in society we are stuck with these kind of issues which is limiting our chances towards progress Question 4 analyze the poet's use of language and poetic devices to convey his message effectively now poetic devices include imagery metaphor symbolism etc all these are individually live on my channel in the form of youtube shorts you can go and have a look at it after this so tagore employs poetic devices like imagery metaphor repetition to create a lyrical and evocative portrayal of his vision for her ideal society his use of simple yet profound or deep language resonates with the readers that is it has a potential to move the readers conveying complex ideas with clarity and emotional resonance that is through these devices he is able to create an emotional impact on people because he is having to convey complex ideas these are complex because there are traditions and notions which are stuck in the minds of people for a very long time for them to break from free from it they need to be explained in a better manner question 5 explore the relationship between individual freedom and societal progress as depicted in the poem so the poem emphasizes interconnectedness of individual freedom and societal progress suggesting that true enlightenment and social transformation or change begins with the liberation of the individual mind from fear and ignorance it highlights the collective responsibility to strive for a more enlightened and inclusive society remember i told you that each and every individual each and every citizen of a country has to be mentally free and only then will that person be able to have clarity and be able to work towards achieving his individual goals which will then contribute to the overall progress of the society question 6 compare and contrast the poet's vision of an ideal society with the realities of the world depicted in the poem and this is one of the best places where you can include examples from situations which are happening around you and you can impress your examiner who's correcting your paper so the poem presents an idealized vision of a society where individuals are free to pursue knowledge truth and enlightenment without fear or prejudice however it also acknowledges the harsh realities of oppression ignorance and social injustice that inhibit or restrict the realization of this vision I'll give you one very common place example we tell that women are free we talk about women empowerment but is it women empowerment when the girls are told to come back home at a particular time at night because it is not safe even today for them to be out late at night secondly we talk about women empowerment but is it right we often see that it is women who are trying to pull down other women at workplaces there is utter politics that goes on in corporate places the boss is not wanting to promote his employee just because 
he does not like it or you know his own sense of talent gets questioned because he sees that that his employee is doing better than him all these are you know still narrow minded thought processes which are still prevalent in the society we saw that in the movie barbie as well so if these kind of thought processes mindsets still prevail i don't know when are we going to achieve what tagore had envisioned long long ago question 7 examine the role of religion and spirituality in shaping the poet's world view and vision for social change so tagore's spirituality infuses the poem with a sense of reverence or a sense of worshiping the dignity and potential of every individual his vision for social change is rooted in the belief that enlightenment and liberation are attainable through spiritual awakening and the pursuit of truth i told you that you don't need to indulge in extensive prayers and worship rituals by just believing in a higher power that will guide you you will be able to move and sail through in life and the last question for today discuss the importance or significance of the poem's universal appeal and relevance across cultures and generations another important question how it is the poem universally relevant to any individual and any nation so the poem's universal appeal lies in its timeless themes of freedom enlightenment and human dignity which resonate with people of all backgrounds and cultures its message of hope and aspiration for a better world transcends the temporal and geographical boundaries inspiring readers across generations the poem was written long long ago but it is relevant to the youth of today not just the youth of india but it could be any country which is trying to move towards progress but is being limited because of the constraints of the country laws the society in general So that's it from this video. I hope you liked it. Do hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel for more such future updates. Thank you for watching. Bye.